What's going on? Welcome back to the gear room. Today's quick video is going to be about how to remove that power link from your chain if you need to replace it or if there's something wrong with your chain. So let's get started. This is the power link. It's a way to connect the traditional parts of the chain together so that you can uh, work on it on the trail or in the shop. First thing you're going to want to do is shift down to your lowest gear. The next step is to go to your derailleur and turn off the clutch in the on position, that does not move. Turn the clutch off, and now it'll come forward and give you slack in that chain. Next step, take the chain off of the front chain ring, and that'll give you more slack in the chain. Now, with the chain in your hand, pinch it so that you only have the power link isolated at the top. Then take your pliers and on the opposite sides of the power link, Give a little squeeze and boom, done. This is a power link. What's different about this one from a traditional chain is that these have extra slots in them, allow the chain. So to remove these, they need to be pressed inward toward each other. It comes apart. Place it back together. So unless you have a power link tool, your wrench is gonna be your best bet. First thing you need to do is identify where the slots are on each side. Notice they're opposite of each other. So we're going to put pressure on right here and here, allowing these sides to open up so that you don't damage your chain. Attach a piece of painter's tape, or any tape, to the teeth part. And now I have the wrench twisted a little bit. And now that will open up with ease. To install the master link back together, with the middle of that slotted section right here and then both sides will go in and then pull. Sometimes that doesn't work and you need to put this chain back onto the bike and give it a pedal because the pedal will have more force than your hands can provide. 